Matt, the UAE Derby has yet to produce a Kentucky Derby winner. I don't know. I don't know if I don't know if it's gonna anytime soon, but at least now it's on dirt the last several years. And I think this year we have going into the UAE Derby. Sometimes we have somebody we like a little bit more coming out of the UAE Derby, but this year going in, I think we have two, at least two, really strong candidates to come to America and, and be in with a fighting chance at Louisville on May 5. Of course, I'm talking about Mendelssohn and Goldtown. Yeah, Brian, you and I both have been looking forward to the UAE Derby and looking forward to those particular uh, horses. We were both wowed by the performance of the gelding Gold Town in the UAE 2000 Guineas, uh, beat a field of 15 or so horses in there, and, and turning for home, he he really displayed an impressive turn of foot and and, and surged away from the rest of those runners and was uh, was eased up at the end to to gallop off to a, a big victory. So we're looking to see what he can do in there. I think the way he ran that that he's got a good shot in the Derby, but we've also been looking forward to seeing Mendelssohn. Um, this is Mendelssohn who won the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Turf in November. And and interestingly, uh, people have said it before, that race has kind of turned into a very key race on the Derby Trail, where four, five, six horses from that race have turned out to run very well on the dirt and do nice things on the Derby Trail. So Mendelssohn has that going for him. He came back made his debut on the synthetic at Dundalk and ran a very nice race, a very competitive move down the stretch. Of course, Mendelssohn also has that strong dirt breeding, um, being a half uh, brother to the great mare beholder and a half brother to the very impressive sire into mischief. So he's one on the turf. He's one on the synthetic and he's bred uh, for the dirt, was a $3 million yearling purchase at Keeneland in uh, 2016. Yeah, Mendelssohn ran a big race, and, and it's nice to see a horse uh, who you know can uh, ship over to America. Mendelssohn's race in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Turf, uh, where he beat, as you said, several good horses, uh, Catholic boy who we're talking about prominently in the uh, Florida Derby being one of them. So that uh, uh, Breeders' Cup Juvenile Turf showed us that Mendelssohn can ship to America. No surprise, Aiden O'Brien does it a lot and, uh, and and certainly run a big race. And that was a legitimate big race, uh, beating the horses that he did in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Turf. Uh, his uh, return race, as you mentioned, was in Ireland and, and it, you know, uh, on the surface, it might not have been too impressive, but I think it, it did what it needed to do. Mandelson was asked to run down the stretch a little bit, and he, and he did, and he was obviously going to be the winner down the stretch. So the, the brother to grade one winners, uh, Beholder and Into Mischief, uh, Mendelssohn certainly uh, uh, is eligible as a son of Scott Daddy, another versatile, uh, versatile sire, uh, is eligible to take to the dirt. Having said that, I think he might be up against it just a little bit in this UAE Derby because uh, clearly the best three-year-old in Dubai all year has been Gold Town. Gold Town was a turf horse as a two-year-old, but a, uh, a geld that's on a street cry. You know, we know street cry, street cry is a top sire, also a versatile sire, but we know street cry a lot for his dirt ability and uh, passing that on to his progeny such as Zenyatta. So... Uh, the distance of the UAE Derby, about a mile and three sixteenths, and the Kentucky Derby should be within Gold Town's realm. And as well as he ran in his last few races, especially the UAE 2000 Guineas, uh, I think uh, Mendelssohn will really have to crank up his game from that return performance in Ireland to beat Gold Town. But it should be very interesting. Now, we should mention Reride because uh, if you're a runaway ghost like Matt and I are a little bit uh, fan. Uh, Reride actually uh, turned away uh, Runaway Ghost in the race before uh, the uh, uh, the Sunland Derby for Runaway Ghost. I, I think Runaway Ghost certainly improved quite a bit in the Sunland Derby, but Reride is the horse that uh, really turned him away the race before. So the Son of Candy ride, maybe he 
presents a threat out of the Steve Asmussen bar. Yeah, I agree with that completely, Brian. It's the only American in the race, and it's interesting that the the, the Winchell thoroughbred and, and Asmussen team decided to not go to Sunland, to Sunland where um, he, he had already run well and, and maybe a more likely uh, path to get to the Kentucky Derby. They decided to take uh, Re-Ride, who's a son of candy ride, um, over to Dubai. And hey, you know, Brian, he, he's got a really good record besides uh, talking about beating Runaway Ghost in there who came back and flattered him. He's four for five, four wins in five starts. So uh, this is a decent, uh, this is a decent horse and Hey, American dirt form. You, you always got to assume that it's a little stronger than uh, the dirt form uh, over at Maidan. And I guess the Winchell Asmussen team, uh, you know, they've done okay over in Dubai. They brought over a different son of candy ride, uh, last year that I think ran pretty good in the Dubai World Cup. Second last year, Matt. And yeah, we were talking about Baffert and Fletcher, of course, uh, but uh, Asmussen uh, is uh, loaded with uh, good three-year-olds as well, Reride being one of them. I'll go with Goldtown, though, in this one. 